So now I'm on my way to the beach. Right next to the beach, there are lots of cows. Uh, they eat the grass that comes up naturally here. And uh, this is just a couple of them. There's actually lots of, lots of cows. And this is the road that goes towards the beach. Uh, you can see out in the distance there's these palm trees. And uh, right up against the beach, people are still farming different kinds of things. Uh, right now, I don't see anything planted, uh, but they do plant things in these fields, like little green tomatillos, which aren't tomatoes, but they're called tomatillos. Uh, May, you can ask your mom, what's a tomatillo? You see it? And there's birds flying around here. Uh, big birds with big black wings and then we'll see these pools of water when there's cows they'll drink from that water and over there there's more cows in the distance i can't zoom into them right now because the super steady shot is on here comes a truck full of coca-cola soda it's just delivered lots of dangerous carbonated drinks to the world, to the beach communities. Uh, people build houses out here and then they just leave the house like most of the year. This house, they've been building it for a while now. It looks like it's going to be very nice when they finish, but it's uh, got needs its windows. What else does it need? Uh, Phyllis, I don't see a front door. They do have a big gate on it though, nice gates and stuff. Uh, the electric meter is not there yet. That little post will bring the electricity down. So they don't have any electricity, but the electricity is right above them, so that won't be a problem. But anyways, that house is not finished. And then we can see other houses which people made, and then look what happened. Looks like they just never kept their house going. The whole thing's falling apart. Here, let's take a drive down this little road and see what else we can see. They say there's a hotel here. Hmm, I wonder what that hotel Sesteo is like. Uh, we'll see that house, it's wrecked. They just abandon it. You know, when you own something, you have to like do things. Like in the bar, you have to change. Look at this house. Like even the, the plants are growing all over it now. Somebody one time had a dream of having a nice house near the beach, but at some point they left it. These are coconuts. There's a bunch of coconuts that have fallen off the tree, off that palm tree. And uh, here's another house that people uh, have just uh, let go and not doing anything with. I wonder if they sell me these houses cheap. Cost a lot of money to fix them up though. Here's another house that they're still building. Looks like they are keeping that one up. It has fresh paint on it. Looks pretty good. Uh, here's another house though that looks like it's abandoned. The door is falling apart. Here's another house which looks like they're kind of keeping it going. Yeah, they are. And this is the famous hotel. This hotel uh, was once owned by Hilton and, uh, and Sophie Tell. No, it never was. But a man's up there painting it right now, trying to make it look prettier, because right now we're having the, the season of more tourists. But I think they have a long way to go to make this hotel look like an attractive place. Would you like to stay in that hotel, Phyllis? Or would you rather like stay in your mobile home, motor home? Anyways, yeah, a lot of people kind of built things here and let them go. But there's still other people who uh, have kept their places going. Some of these people have little beachfront uh, restaurants, simple restaurants. 
and then they will live over here. Uh, I don't know who lives here, but whoever does, they haven't uh, swept up the leaves, so they probably only come occasionally. I'm going to stop the car and walk out. We'll see what's in front of us here. Let's see. This is going to be a longer video, so I don't know exactly how long, but... Oh, there's the water. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, there's tons of birds up there. I don't know if you can see them. You see all those birds? They're like some kind of seagull or something. They're just flying across the sky there. I don't know how good the image is, if you can really see them or not. But uh, it's nice over here. It's too bad so many people have houses that they didn't uh, keep in good condition because it makes it look kind of raggedy. Uh, doesn't make it look as pretty as it could be. Let's see, I've never walked down here before. So I'm gonna take a step or two just to show you guys. Oh, there's some kind of little beach here, but this isn't really the beach, this is just like a shoreline. Uh, out there in the distance, there's a community uh, where a lot of fishermen have their boats and then they go out in the ocean. And they also have a lot of oysters that they grow down in this water. Uh, the community is called Boca de Camachin, which means the mouth of the Camachin. I don't know what Camachin is. Anyways, but there's all those birds hovering. They're going, oh, it looks like they're making a big circle. Now look at all the, can you see those birds? I don't know if you can see that, but there's so many of them. And they're different levels, and then they're flying back and forth. Wow, I've never seen so many birds going like that. Look at that. Can you see them gliding across the sky? Hopefully the camera is good enough to make video that you can appreciate those birds. Anyways, I think I'll make this video in two parts. So this is the end of part one, and then part two will be when I'm at the beach.